the, the public protector, <laughs> the public protector is, is, is busy with this whole matter. And all information, all information has been submitted to the public protector by myself, a number of people, as well as my son. So the contract that he had for, assist, for doing work for them outside the country is a matter that is now with the public protector and it is going to be dealt with in that way. And you know, if you care to know, there's really nothing to hide. But the public protector is Order. the one who knows. Yeah, no, no. No, no, I think the approach, the approach there with that was that this is like company confidential information. No, listen. And I went on to say the everything should be disclosed to the public protector. So it has been disclosed to the public protector. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. ESCOM's challenges have been driven by a number of factors. And some of those are massive cost and time overruns on the new build programs of building our new power stations. They were budgeted at a particular amount and uh, within a particular time frame, they overran all that. And that led to cost overrun. The effects of state capture and corruption also contributed to these cost overruns. The collapse and weakening of government governance structures in ESCOM also had an impact. And unsustainable debt levels that ESCOM has accumulated as it has sought to manage its way out of this challenges of a financial nature and operational nature. But yes, we are serious about tackling corruption. We are serious about rooting it out. And it is for that reason that we appointed a commission of inquiry. The ruling party or the governing party was brave enough to bear its own chest and appoint a commission of inquiry so that we can go to the root of the corruption that has bedeviled our country over the past few years. And this we have done without any fear, knowing that in the end we must put South Africa first. South Africa must come first rather than ourselves as a political party. So to that end, we are making sure that what the commissions will be coming up with, what they will be recommending, we will follow up and implement. And in this regard, we are not taking the people of our country or South Africa for a ride. We are extremely serious. We are going to root out corruption.